know, Dad, I got to be honest with you. Yeah. And this has been a feeling of mine for maybe the last 16 or 17 years. When we uh, spend time together over breakfast, mm -hmm. boring. I appreciate your saying that. I wish you had told me that 16 years ago. Yeah. And sometimes I feel like this is just a trough where we come to feed. Right. You know, We don't play as many games anymore as we used to. Right? No, that's for sure. One of the reasons we don't play is because I'm yeah. 49 and I go to work every day. I'd love to hang out and play. It doesn't stop me. Remember in restaurants we used to play that game with a butter knife? I, I would look at you, but I would look at the reflection of my lips in the knife. Oh, yes, I love that game. Yeah. And you can do it with eyes and noses, too. It's right. really fun. You can do this with a fork. Ow. <laughs> Remember pass the mood? <laughs> you know, like if one of us was in a really in a black bad, mood. Bad mood. They try to pass it to the other person. Right. Because some way that's sometimes that's the only way to liberate yourself from a bad mood. Yeah, we were uh, an unhappy family. Small. <laughs> right. Small but unhappy. Yeah. So I like my eggs and how I like my family. So. <laughs> how do you like your coffee? Over easy. There you go. I remember when we used to go on trips. We used to play... Um, we used to play card games. Card games like, I'm going on a vacation and I'm going to bring my guitar. Right. And then you'd have to say, I'm going on a vacation, I'm going to bring my guitar uh, and something else. Then right. We have, to, uh, we have right. to keep remembering... Bring my guitar and my pick. My guitar pick. Yeah, I'm going on a vacation, I'm going to bring my guitar, my guitar pick, and a portable radio. Hmm, dumb. Um, I'm going on a trip and I'm going to bring my guitar, my guitar pick... Um, I'm not going to bring the portable radio. No, no, you have to say But that. I'm going to bring no, you have to say the portable my radio. Uh, tuning fork. I'm going on a trip. I'm going to bring my guitar, guitar pick, portable radio, tuning fork, and a rare roast beef sandwich with Russian dressing on rye bread. I'm going to bring uh, all that stuff plus my sheet music. Ben, you have to name all those things. That's how the game works. <sighs> Let's play Pass the Salt. How about that? Okay. The uh, treasure hunt. Remember those? Oh, the ones we used to have. In the house, mm -hmm. on top of Ed. No, there was no Ed, but that's a bad example. Yeah, it's been a while. Oh, uh, the tension would build. Believe me, Ben, it would build. Building now. Yeah. Yeah. You have to go? <laughs> okay, I got to get out of here, but would you do me a favor? Would you take out the London Well, what oil? about the, the game we were going to have? We can pick up where we left off. All right, when, when you get you, home. Yeah, when I get home. Would you take out the London broil to defrost so we can have that for dinner? You got London broil? Yes. What's the occasion? The occasion is it's it's one of the three things I know how to make. Yeah, but I don't see why I have to do all the work, Dad. I mean, why don't you take it out before you go? Like right now. Because it'll spoil. You know, you may want to go out and you... I'll still eat it. <laughs> You're such a good sport, Ben. <laughs> So you had a, a self-consciousness about being the only Asian American. I, I can understand that. Because I don't know if you've ever been in a, in a situation where you go to a city and you realize you're the only one of your kind, you know? I'm in uh, San Antonio one time, and I'm walking down this river walk, and I realize I'm one of the only Asian people around, and I look across the river, and there's a Chinese restaurant. Mm -hmm. And the waitress looks at me, and I look at her, and we have that weird moment. Right. And I realize it's the same feeling I felt. Every Halloween, when I was a kid, I'd go trick-or-treating, I'd dress up like Batman, and then I'd look across the street, and there would be another Batman. And you have these two four-foot Batmen staring at each other on a windy October night. My dad was a single parent. Right. And it's mostly brothers in my family, so it's kind of like a reverse Joy Luck Club. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if you saw the movie or read the book, but... You know what I hated about the Joy Luck Club? The movie and the book? What a lousy dinner party to go to. Yeah. Everybody's having a flashback. That's got to be really annoying after a while. Sure. That's a really good salad. What kind of dressing are you using? My mother was a concubine! What the hell are you talking about? I'm going to do a little dramatic scene to sort of describe my father. This is a quick scene from Leave it to Beaver. Except the part of Ward Cleaver is played by my father. Gee, I'm sorry I ran away in junk, but I just figured with Wally winning all the trophies and all, he didn't love me anymore. Do you forgive me? Huh? Mm. There was a time, though, we didn't have really good communication. I realized that. And uh, I remember one time um, my dad's company had a father son picnic, he invited his father. <laughs> 
Dad, yes. Come over here for a sec. Yeah. Come walk up to your son. Okay. Take a good look. Put your hand out. Okay. Here you go. Oh my God, I've been subpoenaed. <laughs> oh, Dad. <laughs> Read. This is clue number one mm -hmm. to my father. Mm -hmm. You. From a son. Me. If you want clue number two, mm -hmm. yeah. this is. Ben, you didn't. Man. I did. This is what you must do. Uh huh. Take a step to your right. Right. And lift me up with all your might. Right, right, right. Read on. Uh. And move it along, Dad. If you want clue number two, it's underneath young Benny's shoe. That's right. Ben, is this the beginning of what I think it is? Treasure hunt. Dad, I've handed you the clue. Let's get it started. Do you mind if we play this after dinner? Is that okay? No, it because is not okay. Can't we pick up with clue number two? Just put that aside, and then we'll have some London broil, and then we'll... Uh... Well, Dad, I'll get to that later, but right now, all day, there's 54 clues all over the house and outside. You know... And it won't take but four, maybe five hours to finish it. We'll eat late. Ben, have you never read about these families who die of starvation playing treasure hunts? <laughs> You know, they died because of too many clues. I understand. That was hundreds of years ago. Okay, well, how about we do that? Why don't we start with a little, like, a shrimp cocktail, and we'll go hunting. You know what? Get to lifting. Come okay. on. <laughs> Grab right here. Okay, I, I, I'm actually into the game. Don't I, get me wrong. I, I want, know. I want to go on a hunt. Dad, you don't understand. Yeah. You have to get clue number two. One, because I want to move. Right. And two, I hid the London broil. You hit a piece of meat. I hit the piece of meat. That's the end of the hunt. Yeah. I'll give it a shot then, but if I can't lift you, you're going to have to just remember what's in that clue. All right, fine. Just give okay, it another shot. Okay. You can't get me, can you? No. Dad, you're so close. You got your eye on the prize. You just finish the deal. Give it the uh, proverbial coup de grace, shall we say. I, I don't really... Put a bullet in its head. I don't appreciate being referred to as an old geezer, in spite of the fact that it rhymes with, oh my God, there is a London <laughs> royal <laughs> in the freezer! Uh, so ben, few words that is, rhyme with freezer. That's right. And um, you, you're sort of an old geezer. I, I will give you credit for, for that is an ingenious hiding place. Oh, thanks, Dad. You did figure out an inventive way not to do the one thing I asked you to do. I think that's my charm. No, we gotta, we gotta get, I gotta get some food in my system, Ben. Because I I, even, even if I wasn't hungry, I would think I would be furious at you. Well, suck on this. <laughs> it's called London broil. Yeah, frozen. You know, it's not so bad, frozen. <laughs> no, it isn't. <laughs>
for his birthday, my wife bought him this little plastic tool belt、mm-hmm. um, so he can be just like his dad. Because I like to wear a little plastic tool belt. Now we have that in common. Yeah. He's all excited because I took him out the other day and he got to meet a policeman. Oh, sure. That's fun for a kid. He also got to meet a traffic judge and a defense attorney. So, not so fun. It was an eventful day. Dad, son, welcome to my world. And I'm not going to say I'm obsessed, but take a look around. It's all clues. That's great. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Everything is a clue.、Yeah. But the one right now,、yeah. this one right here, and if you could take a gander, it's German, isn't it? Is、well, this German you wrote? No. Well, that's the first clue, right? Tannenbach in der in der in der Echt. No, no, no. In der Echt. No, no, no. no it's German, isn't it? No. First of all, where do you get the Echt? There's no. It's implied. No. Tannenbach. Tannenbach. An academ, an academ at, at a Disney cool. Well, that's the first clue. That is brilliant, Ben. Yeah. Wait, let me just hold this up to the mirror for one second.、Uh, how did you guess that that would be a? Well, you know what's? It's because the last word I caught on was look backwards.、Mm. But this is the only one that's backwards. The rest are in Latin. Go. Okay. Go enjoy. Have fun. This one's going to take a while. I think I found it, Ben. I think I found another clue. Yeah. But I can't. I can't make this out. Where are my reading glasses? Maybe the reading glasses are what you need to find. Although.、Uh, yeah, but unless I find my. Re- oh, I have another pair in my bag here. Um,、or、I don't、briefcase. think you do. Uh huh. Ben. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to read it out loud. I don't want to read it at all. I just want to get paid and go home. Well, very rarely, Laura, do I ask you to do something special for me. <sighs> But I really labored over this thing. Ah,、oh, all right. So if you please just don't whine. Thank you. Pick it up and then press play, and pretty soon you'll have your pay. Thank you. Ah,、uh, and just tell me one thing. Did you enjoy that? No. Okay, just checking. I have moments though when I understand what the homeless feel like. If you ever want to understand how a homeless person feels like, ask somebody for jumper cables. Hmm. Everyone looks at you like you're just the biggest freak. Excuse me, can you can you help me out? Do you have jumper cables? Come back here. Hello. Hello, Laura. Walk over to the、uh, window sill, and there you will find another clue. And once you get there and see this other clue, push play again. Now go to the magazine. Hope you had as much. And now, Laura, if you've done this, now you're done. Look, open up your bottom drawer, and there inside, if I'm correct, is the last week's paycheck. I took a little liberty. There. All these names that these companies give for these products, you know, corporate America knows the name's got to be catchy. Then you remember it and buy it, right?、Mm-hmm. I had a bowl of Life cereal this morning, so I'm still coming down from that high. That's my favorite name of any food out there right now. Life cereal. I mean, you had to be a cocky marketing whiz to sell that name to a company. We have this new crunchy breakfast cereal, but what are we gonna call it, gentlemen? There's only one thing we can call it: life. Hey, Laura. Hi. I actually just came by because I got. A, I'm planting a clue here. No more clues. No, not for you. For my dad. Well, your father just. Had me go on a treasure hunt for my paycheck. Did he really? Well, he just left all the clues on his voice it. Left the clues on the voice it. Yeah. Huh. That's not bad. Were the clues good? I don't know. I didn't listen to him. Well, how, how could you find it? I without... skipped to the end. Hmm. See, that's where he always falters. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's my strong suit: the ability to just keep my mouth shut until it is over. Mm-hmm. But I'm glad my dad has he's got the fever.、Hmm. I was like him once. Now it's just kind of like, well, it's another hunt.、Mm. So did he hide the voice it, make you find the voice it first by with another clue, or did he? No, just... it was just on the desk. Ah,、oh, that's not good. <laughs> what I would have done would be to write a handwritten clue that would lead you to the voice it. You see what I mean? You gotta love the process. Is really what I'm saying. It's an art form, really. It's like haiku. Did I say it was like haiku? Mm-hmm. It's more like chess, but without the pieces, except the pawns. <laughs> it's not really like chess. Do you know the game Parcheesi? 
I don't feel well. You know, when uh, Ben was maybe six, he was hooked on knock-knock jokes, but he didn't, he didn't really get them. Here, I'll give you an example. I'll be Ben. Uh, knock-knock. Yeah, who's there? Michael. Michael who? You know Michael in the third grade? No, who, no. Yeah. yeah. See, he doesn't, he doesn't he have a He didn't understand the joke part. Knock-knock. Who's there? Madame. Madame who? Madame put stuck in the door. <laughs> we used to play telephone at the dinner table. Oh, I love that game. That telephone? Was, yeah. yeah. Oh, you mean where you whisper the thing? Yeah. 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 It was tough. It got tough when it was just me and Ben, you know? That's just, can you speak up, please? <laughs> When uh, Ben was about 18 months old, uh, we w he was too young for us to trust him with a sitter. If we wanted privacy, Roz and I, we would, we would play hide-and-go-seek, and he would hide, but we wouldn't seek. Sad. Well, he just thought he was extremely good at hiding. And every once in a while, we would yell, Give us another hint! <laughs> you know what I'm getting the sense from this conversation about, about our childhood? What? Unhappy. We did, we, that's right. <laughs> we did not have a good time, individually or collectively. <laughs> Hey, Dad? Yeah? Did you put something on my head last night? I got up early, and I was sort of dreaming of clues. Mm -hmm. And uh, I figured, why the hell should I sleep through this? Yeah, when I could be sticking stuff on your forehead. <laughs> yeah. Good for you. Yeah. Hi, can I ask you uh, something? Yes. Pull your pants down. <laughs> Check your ass. <laughs> what do you find? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> One up to you. Oh, <laughs> I like the head thing, though. That was yeah. good. I mean, I didn't notice it until I saw it. I saw myself it's, in the mirror. It's less man. invasive than your technique, you know? Yeah. What's happened to us, Ben? This is not good. Remember that thing about when you're you're 49 now and you're too old to play? Yeah. What changed? I huh? checked my driver's license and I'm not 49 yet. <laughs> you know, I have another six months so I can play like a maniac. So you can still have fun. Yeah. So take a look in the mirror and take... Well, take just a, take the clue off. Yeah, but you know, hair's gonna come off when I rip this baby off. Maybe you should do it. Sure, I'll do it. Ow! There you go. All right, this might make you feel real ill, but check inside your cereal. Um, That's not really a rhyme. Well, uh, yeah, the other one I was working with was, um, sometimes, son, the going gets rough. Mm -hmm. Check inside the panda puffs. That's better. So use that one. All right, fine. Okay. Dad, the help wanted. That's very clever. Is this a clue? It's a hint. Hmm. But I hid. I also hid something else. What? What was that? Look under part time. Yeah. And I've circled some words that, if you string them together, is your next clue. Mm hmm. What's the first word in there that I've circled? Get. Second word. A. Third word. Job. <laughs> That's very funny, Dad. Yeah. You know what, though? I'm done playing. <laughs> okay. There's a TV. I gotta watch it. I hid the remote, Ben. You hid the remote? Yeah. Where's the clue? That was the clue. I told you, I hid the remote. So I just gotta go find it. Yeah, I gotta go to the bathroom, excuse me. Well, good luck finding the toilet paper. I don't use that anymore. <laughs> good luck finding your hand. <laughs> oh, no! You know, in India, Dad, Yeah. there is no toilet paper. Is that true? Yeah. Good luck finding India. <laughs> check and check mate! <laughs> Well, my kindergarten teacher hated me. She used to find any excuse to pick on me, mm -hmm. especially during nap time. Like, I'm the only guy in the world who sleeps naked. Yeah. I remember I took the SATs in high school. I, I got caught cheating on the SATs. I had written one of the answers down on my hand, um, the letter B. Right. And get to one I don't know. B. <laughs> yeah. B again. Now that my dad's retired, he's gone back to college, and we're very proud of him, you know. Sure. Except when he comes home from a keg party and pees out the window. Then we're not as proud. It's, I, you know, I hated going to the gym, because every time I go to the gym, that one guy is always there. The guy that screams way too much when he works out. Yeah. It's like working out with Charlton Heston. Ah! Damn you all to hell! This guy do a sit all day with a thigh master. Ah! Ah! There's an eyeball rolling across the gym floor. It's a madhouse! 
I realized that uh, city life is just really dulling my senses. I'm just getting really complacent. Have you ever tried looking for an oil change coupon in the mail? No. Missing kid, missing kid, missing kid. Carpet clean, twenty nine ninety five. What a rip off! Missing kid, missing kid. Oil change. Yeah, Kevin. You know what the music means. We're gonna have to stop now. Our time is up. <laughs>